Hi guys, Hillary here with Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Now this video is gonna be all about my top three favorite aquariums in Southern California. I don't know about you, but when I like to travel, I always try and make some time to check out one of the local aquariums, which is how I've got this list here for you today. So I've got a really small one, a local one in Santa Monica. I've got one in Long Beach and I've got one down in San Diego. So let's go check out these three aquariums. Okay, now our first aquarium is the Heal the Bay Aquarium in Santa Monica, California. Just like the name suggests, this is actually located in Santa Monica underneath the base of the pier. It's really easy to miss, so now is your sign to go check it out if you haven't seen it in the past. This is the smallest aquarium on my list, but that's okay, because it's really cool. It has a lot of exhibits that feature local native species and things that you can find right off the pier just like these leopard sharks and even some beautiful moray eels. For a small aquarium, it does have some amazing exhibits. And even though it is small, it does have a touch tank. So if you've never got to experience kelp, this is a chance that you can do that. Something else you can experience in their touch tank is abalone. A lot of times we might see them from the top of their shell as opposed to the underneath. And I actually got to feed some and watch them eat. No aquarium is complete without a jellyfish exhibit, and they have all life stages of moon jellyfishes on exhibit for people to see. Now, during the pandemic, they spent a lot of time doing renovations, and this is one of the cool displays that they have that they changed. So this is where their swell sharks are at, and you can actually access this touch tank from inside the aquarium or outside um, along the boardwalk of the aquarium. Another project they're working on is an aquaponic setup where you use the waste that's produced by the fish to create nutrients that help to feed and allow the plants to grow. Now, I've got to say these systems are really cool, but my favorite thing about this aquarium is their sand crab exhibit. This isn't a good video, but I've seen them before where all of the sand crabs are out feeding in the current and it's incredible to watch. Okay. Next up is the Birch Aquarium in San Diego at Scripps Institution of Oceanography. Now, if you're standing on the beach, you can see this pier. It's the Scripps Pier. Um, you can tell they got a lot of boats on there, and there's also a lot of um, data recording instruments out on the end. But something else they use the pier for is that is where they bring the water in for the aquarium. As you might have guessed, since they're using that cold Pacific water, they're going to have a lot of species that thrive in the cold water, like this crab and my favorite little lump sucker fish. Now those aren't the only species they have. Their collections are fairly vast, including some of these moray eels. But if you have been to La Jolla, you may have visited some of their tide pools in the past. They're pretty well known for them. And that is what the touch tank is at Birch Aquarium. You can see some of the species you might find in a tide pool, like their state fish, the Garibaldi. Now I mentioned that this is associated with Scripps Institution of Oceanography, and they have an exhibit that talks about the research vessels that they use for the research, like the Sally Ride. That being said, my favorite part of the aquarium has to have been the oddities exhibit. Um, a lot of places that you go will have part of their collections on display, on exhibit, and usually they're just not that exciting. To me, it seems like a bunch of dead things in jars. But as a nod to the San Diego Comic-Con, they categorized all of their different collections, um, species they have on exhibit, and then they gave them superpowers, kind of to make it a little bit more relatable to people that would just walk past it. So you have species that also have a collection and then the superpowers they might have that you might miss. I'd love seeing species like this barrel eye fish that is a deep sea species. I've seen photos of them um, online, but never actually seen a specimen in person. Now, if you know anything about Birch Aquarium, you know that they're known for their sea dragons and their seahorses. So make sure to check out their leafy sea dragons before you head out. Okay, now our last aquarium has us moving north up the coast to Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California. I've heard some people call this the Long Beach Aquarium. Whatever you call it, you are bound to have a good time. 
Now they have a variety of different exhibits like this kelp forest, they have interactive feeding presentations, and of course tons of charismatic megafauna like sea otters, lots of sharks, and different stingrays, sea lions, and even penguins if that's something that you're interested in. See, they do captive breeding projects like Utaka here, and of course there's lots of beautiful jellies on display. Something that's really unique about this aquarium is that they allow volunteers to sign up to help take care of their exhibits. Whether you want to help work on the displays or you want to be a docent or even leading behind the scenes tours and showing people around, there's a little bit of something for anything that might interest you with respect to the aquariums. Now, recently, they opened the Pacific Visions exhibit. It's that bright blue one that you saw at the beginning, and it's filled with art galleries, interactive exhibits, and a lot of things that have you questioning and thinking about how we live our day-to-day -day life. Now, another interesting thing about the Pacific Visions is it has this first of its kind 4D theater. So as the water's coming down, you're feeling the spray of the water. You're smelling those oranges as they're picked off of the tree. You're feeling the breeze and your seats are even gonna vibrate a little bit as you move through the video series. So this is a pretty cool thing that you should definitely check out if you are going to Aquarium of the Pacific. All right, I hope you've gotten a couple of ideas for new places to visit next time that you are traveling. If I have left out one of your favorite Southern California aquariums, leave a comment below and let me know what one I should go visit next. This has been Hillary for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.